Hello, and welcome to tonight's homework help for uh, Wednesday night, October 17th, 2012. We're going to jump right in with two-step equations, part A. It says solve and explain the following. Unfortunately, we left a mistake here. It shouldn't say explain. What it really should say is check. Okay, so we want to see you check your work. Um, uh, so if you can, I mean, if you end up explaining it, we'll give you full credit. Uh, if you end up uh, checking your work, we'll give you full credit. If you do both check and explain your work, I'll give you an extra credit point on the homework. Okay, so it really should be check, so I'm going to show you how to check. So hopefully anybody that watches this will do the right thing. Uh, apologize for the mistake. Uh, anyways, jumping right in, uh, we have 4x plus 6 equals uh, 18. So I know that I need to first subtract 6 from both sides. I want to I want to first get the variable more alone, and the multiplication is a little harder to take off. So we'll take off the uh, addition first. Uh, so I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides. There's my boundary. Um, Th that will cancel this to 0, so 4x plus 0 will leave me with just 4x, which equals 18 minus 6 is 12. Okay. Second step is I need to get rid of the 4, the four that's attached to the x. Um, this 4 is attached by multiplication, so I'm going to divide both sides by 4, and I'll end up with uh, 4 divided by 4 is 1, and 1 times x leaves me with plain old x. I'll extend my boundary here. And x is equal to 12 divided by 4, which is 3. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So there's your answer. Okay, now to check it, um, what we want you to do is to take the first half of the equation, the 4x plus 6 part, and then we want to see whatever answer it, it comes up with to see if it ends up being the same as our answer 18 here. So I'm going to substitute in our answer that we got for x okay so we got four times so here I'm gonna put in a 3 in for the x so I got 4 times 3 plus 6 well 4 times 3 I know is 12 plus 6 well 12 plus 6 is 18 and then we check do these two match okay then we have they do so our answer is correct. Okay, I'm going to do the same for all of these problems on this side. Let's uh, go ahead and move on to the other side. Okay, here we are on the other side. We're with building walls. Maya is using blocks to make a wall grow. Again, this is another pattern recognition problem. First wall has three blocks on the bottom, one on top. Next wall has four on the bottom, two on top. Next one has five on the bottom and three on top. Okay, so there's a pattern showing there. Uh, and they, there's an empty space for a fourth one. And yes, the first question says draw the fourth wall next to the third wall above. So draw your fourth wall here. Okay, and then in number two says how many blocks are needed to make the fourth wall. So once you draw your fourth wall, you can just count the blocks. Okay, uh, then moving up. Um, let's see, that should be good enough. Uh, then we have... Uh, Number three, Tom wants to build the fifth wall. Tell Tom how to build the fifth wall. So you're just going to write, you make this many blocks on the bottom and this many blocks on the top. Um, and then number four, how many blocks would it take to build the seventh wall? So you're going to have to follow that pattern through the sixth and then the seventh and figure out how many blocks total it's going to take to build the seventh wall. And then explain how you know your answer is correct. Actually, this says show. But we'd like an explanation written in English explaining how you know the answer is correct. Um, so if you recognize what the pattern is and can write it in English, just write it right here. Okay, uh, that should be it. Thanks, good night, and good luck. Go Bears! Rawr!